The U.S. Constitution by Norman Pearl, illustrated by Matthew Skeens. My name is James Madison. I was the fourth president of the United States. I also played a big part in making a set of rules for the country. These rules are known as the Constitution. Let me tell you the story. What is the Constitution? The Constitution of the United States is the plan for how the government works. It says how much power the branches or parts of the government can have. It tells them how to make laws and how to make sure all Americans follow them. The Constitution is a symbol of democracy. The Constitution is the highest law in the United States. It is more important than any city or state laws. The First Rules of the United States After winning the Revolutionary War in 1783, the United States was a new country. Like any country, it needed rules. Its first set of rules were called the Articles of Confederation. These rules joined together the 13 states. It was a start, but the country needed more. The United States needed a better form of government. Who wrote the Constitution? In May 1787, delegates from most of the 13 states met in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Their job was to write the Constitution, a new set of rules for the country's government. The meeting was called the Constitutional Convention. The 55 delegates at the meeting later became known as the framers of the Constitution. Rhode Island was the only state that did not send any delegates to the Constitutional Convention. Many different ideas. Writing the Constitution was not easy. Many people had different ideas about what it should say. Some men wanted a strong national government. Others did not. There was a lot of arguing. Finally, on September 17, 1787, the arguing stopped and the delegates signed the Constitution. Then the states had to agree to follow it. The last one did so in 1790. James Madison was the delegate from Virginia. He helped the other delegates at the Constitutional Convention work through their differences. Madison was both smart and fair. He is known today as the father of the Constitution. The parts of the Constitution. The Constitution has three main parts, the preamble, the articles, and the amendments. One, Preamble. The preamble is the beginning of the Constitution. The preamble tells Americans why they need a government and a Constitution. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Number two, articles. The seven articles of the Constitution explain the branches of the U.S. government. They tell what those branches can and cannot do. In the United States, the people run the government. Americans have the right to vote. When they vote, Americans choose the people who will work for them in the government. The Articles divide the U.S. government into three branches. Each branch has different powers. No one branch can become stronger than the others. This is called a balance of power. Every branch is equal. The Articles allow people in government to keep all Americans safe. They say that the government can build an army and a navy to guard the country. The executive branch. This branch is made up of the president, the vice president, and the people who help them do their jobs. It is headquartered in the White House. The judicial branch. This branch is the court system. Judges see that laws are carried out in the right way. 
the judicial branch is headquartered in the Supreme Court, the highest court in the United States. The legislative branch. This branch is made up of the Congress, which is divided into two parts, the House of Representatives and the Senate. Congress makes the nation's laws. It is headquartered in the Capitol. Three, amendments. The amendments were not part of the original Constitution. They were added later. They give Americans many rights. For example, the amendments say that Americans cannot be made slaves. They can belong to any religion they want. All Americans age 18 and older can vote. Since it was signed in 1787, the Constitution has been amended or added to 27 times. The first 10 amendments are called the Bill of Rights. These are the most important rights Americans have. The Constitution and you. So how does the Constitution work for you? The Constitution gives the U.S. government the power to make laws. Laws aren't just for adults. They're for kids, too. There are laws that allow kids to go to school. Others say what kinds of jobs kids can have and how many hours they can work. For more than 200 years, the Constitution has kept the U.S. government strong. I'm proud of our Constitution. Now that you know its story, I hope you are, too. You can see the original Constitution at the National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. The Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence are there, too.